get a lot of questions about how do we add a toll-free number. You are getting a toll-free number. Maybe you're waiting for your local number to be A2P10 DLC compliant. All you do is come over here to the add a number. Before we do, I'm going to just jump over here and let's do this toll free numbers. I'm just doing a quick search on toll free numbers. Here's a great example. So we've got 800 888 877 866 855 844 or 833. What we want to do is we're looking for these area codes. You can pick any one of these. What we're going to do is we're going to just select add a phone number. And when we do, we're going to click select there right here where it says filter. We want filter of United States. Let's click filter here and break it down even more. So I've got toll free checked. And so let's say I want to find an 866 number. I need it to be MMS, which is images, voice and SMS. And let's uncheck local and we can uncheck mobile. We're looking for a toll free. And once you hit apply and you'll see all the 1-800 numbers available. Now, remember, it's going to be about twice the price on a 1-800 number, but it's temporary unless you're like us and you do need a 1-800 number. So even if you put in 800, it still shows all the 833 and the 888 variables. So once you select it and you click proceed to buy, that's when it's going to charge you the $2.26 I'll go ahead and buy this number. It's going to charge your card on file. And then right here, it's going to say purchase is successful. Here's the number. Then it gives you a configure learn more. When you click learn more, this is where you'll go in and configure your settings. You could do calls forward to, pass call number two, whisper message, call recording. So let me go ahead and hit save on there. This is the toll free number I just did. These were the settings. Now you can easily come to the three dots, hit edit configuration, put in all of your configurations. Now that I've got it set up, now you're like, okay, how do I register? When you click on the three dots and you click on this number info, right here, it's going to say registration required. You'll want to start your registration. When you're done, let me show you what it looks like when it says done. I'm going to hit number info. It's going to say in review. And when you're approved, it should say approved. Once you see this, you're going to hit start registration. It's going to ask you just these few things, the legal business name, the first name, and the last name, the website URL, the email, and your country code and your phone number. It's one of three steps right here. Let's just go ahead and do this. I'll just type in 5F Media. We'll do in www.5fmedia.com. We'll just put in my name, put in my email, and I'll just go ahead and put in a business, one of our other businesses numbers. Continue location. Here's where it says U.S. state. This is where you would put in your address. This is where you would put in the location of your business. Our training center is 2909 East Arkansas Lane. We're in C607. Arlington zip code is 76010. Then we say continue to messaging use case. What's your volume? I'll just say a thousand. Actually, let's just say 10,000 and see what happens. Opt in rate. What's my opt in? Are they doing a website form? Are they doing a mobile QR code? I'll just say website form, use case categories to factor authentication. I'm just going to put customer care, opt in workflow URLs. I'll just put in the website. But if you do have an opt-in page, this is a great place to put in your opt-in page. But this is where our web chat widget is, a use case. Just say we plan on using to communicate with customers. Message content would be, let's see, here's your login to access your account. We plan to communicate with our customers. Login account access. You're going to do your own thing. We plan to use it for doing scheduling. We plan on using it for sending out information related to software updates, related to their account, scheduling an appointment, things like that. We plan on using to communicate with customers via login access and software training updates. And then right here, you just agree to the services. Of course, you got to go look at that if you want to read all the guidelines. But bottom line is you're not spamming or anything crazy. I'm going to put this back down to a thousand because... I'm probably going to end up just deleting this number for the training video. And there it is. Now you see the toll free is in review. We've got two toll free numbers in review right here. And that's pretty much it. That's how easy it is. If you have any questions or issues with your toll free number, just be sure to hit the help button, reach out or do the speak with us video chat, the live chat. 
So that way you can go in there and have them do anything that they might need to be doing on their end, just in case. And I would do that if it takes a little bit longer than five to seven business days, because usually the toll-free numbers are pretty quick. And that's it. And that's how you get a 1-800 number. Hope this helps. Oh,